In this video, we will teach you how to copy the color from movie to your own video. First, let's see how to copy color from a still image or movie. Drop the Game of Thrones PNG onto the timeline, which you can download for free from ShotDeck.com. Then drop the footage on which you want to copy the color. Go to the Color tab and scroll down to the end. You will see the color match option there. Click on Comparison View, and now you will see a window where you can click on Match. This will give you a nearby color to work with. Click on OK. Now place the image on track 2 and use a linear mask so that you can see both frames and do further color correction easily. Then select your footage and scroll up under color. Change exposure to 2.4, brightness to negative 4.07, contrast to negative 100, vibrance to 18.40, saturation to 8.80, highlight to 8.80, shadow to negative 12, white to 34.50, and black to negative 17.46. Remember that these values are for the Game of Thrones color. Next, go to HSL, select Cayenne color, and change hue to negative 12, saturation to negative 32.70, and luminance to negative 100. Then select purple color, change hue to negative 85.6, saturation to negative 56.8, and luminance to negative 5.6. After that, go to the curve and adjust the Y curve to an S curve, but keep the curves less. Then go to the blue curve and take it slightly towards the blue side. Now place the image in its place and turn off the mask. You can see that you have achieved the Game of Thrones color on your footage. Now let's see how to copy color from footage. First, place the Dark Knight footage on track 1 and then drop your footage on the same track. Next, go to the Color tab and click on Color Match to match the color of your footage to the reference footage. Then adjust the exposure, brightness, contrast, vibrance, saturation, highlight, shadow, white, and black settings to match the reference footage. After that, go to the HSL tab and adjust the orange and yellow color settings to match the reference footage. Then go to the Curves tab and adjust the Y curve to half S shape and the red curve slightly towards the red side. Next, go to the Effects tab and apply the Film Color effect by New Blue FX to your footage. Change the tint color to black and adjust the tint value, saturation, brightness, contrast, film gamma, and diffusion. Then apply the Bleach Bypass effect and adjust the light curve and desaturate settings. After that, go to the Boris FX folder and apply the BCC Skin Tone effect to your footage. Expand the color section and choose the second skin tone color. Change the Preserve Highlight settings and then expand the Grid section and adjust the ND Brightness, Size, and Mix with original settings. Next, go to the HSL tab again and adjust the orange color settings by changing the luminance to negative 100 and adjusting the saturation and hue as needed. Then search for NLog in the recommended folder and apply the NLog02 effect to your footage. Adjust the Effect Opacity to 71 and then apply the Sharpen effect to sharpen your clip. Finally, you can save this as a preset by clicking on the save icon. This will allow you to use this color correction setup on other footage in the future. If you're interested in more creative editing, check out filmora.wondershare.com.